Yes, it's back. It's testing the tips. And for those of you who don't know what that involves, it's me as an average golfer, very much like you. I scour the internet looking at YouTube for guidance and help when my game falls apart. And today I'm going to be looking at a video from one of the leading YouTubers in terms of tuition. It's Alex Elliott Golf. And uh, very simply, we're going to look at a putting uh, instruction that is going to help us massively. He suggests it's the only putter lesson we'll ever need. I'm not so sure about that, but all we do need is a putter and a box or a sleeve of golf balls. First part of Alex's video looks at what I think or I believe most of us should be very familiar with and understand, but I'll explain anyway. Most golf balls, modern golf balls, have got an alignment aid on them. Some have gone very much more elaborate than others in recent years. I use a simple black line and I stand behind a ball, I pick out a target and I will put my ball right on line with where I think I want to make that stroke. Very simple. I'm pretty much sure of you. I don't need to go into detail on that and making sure those two things are uh, in sync and we're off to a good start. The big question is, is how do you ensure that your putter head is square to that target line and that's where it becomes very interesting this little drill that I'm about to show you and I think a few of you might be shocked as just a how far out you possibly are and it makes putting impossible. Right sleeve of golf balls first thing I'm going to do is pick out my target line and uh, as you know if you are pointing slightly to left of target if you see a break then you, you, you're aligned that way and vice versa right to left but this port is relatively straight what I'm looking at. So I've got my alignment aid right on target. How can I possibly miss this putt? The way I can miss it is a number of ways with the stroke, but certainly from this position, we need to make sure that as a bare essential, we start in the correct position and that our putter head is square to that target. How do we do that? Get your sleeve of balls and I want you to do is place them parallel with the black line, your alignment aid, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. I've got the, got the black line pointing at my line and I've got the box of balls parallel to it. Now what that does is this. When I stand to the address position, I should be able to see from above now two very strong lines or three in fact with my putter in place. That's the alignment aid that I've got on my putter, the alignment aid on the golf ball and the line that has been created by the box of balls. And I can now see if we can put on screen two lines, we will see that at a 90 degree angle, my putter head is very much square to target. And that is hugely important. So you've got to make sure, like I said, as a bare essential, that when you get to your address position, that putter head is square to the target you intend. And what this does, this sleeve of balls, is a very simple drill. Because you can practice your putting with this. But I think what it does first of all, it will answer a question that's in your head and you're gonna go out and check it right now. And that is, am I square at address or am I leaving my putter head open or closed? So that's why I think this box really does is answer your question. Then when you've established, are you in the correct position or not? Then you start practicing the drill with the, uh, the sleeve of balls in place. And that's part one of making sure you are square to that target line. Now I should point out at this moment that uh, if you are new to this part of the channel, then uh, this is very much my interpretation of a lesson. I'm clearly not a golf instructor. I like you, I'm an average golfer. And uh, some of my terminology might be quite correct. So it's always worth checking out the original video. And I always post a link down below to, uh, to Alex's explanation, which will likely be better than mine. But like I said, this is my interpretation. This is what I came out on the golf course with a different hole and we've got a slightly uh, right sided right to left put I'm going to use exactly the same alignment situation my balls in play that's brilliant and from there using the exact same principles all is good but then Alex talks about another potential issue and that is we've got all this bottom element lined up but if our if our chest is not pointing to target or our arms as he explains it one being lower than the other will produce a very sort of closed situation and the other way uh, opens the chest slightly i bought an alignment stick with me to sort of um, demonstrate that fact obviously what we want to do when we're putting is keep everything including our chest as square to that target line so we've got a ball aligned with a putter alignment aid and we're now looking at a visual uh, using the um, the sleeve of balls to make sure that our arms 
our hands are very much again parallel to that box and all these things are obviously working in unison and if you've got any of those elements out then you know you've got an issue and i think i mentioned in the last clip these are great checkpoints so for me it's kind of when i watched the video i thought it's a lot of state in the obvious here alex but then when i got the sleeve of balls out the first thing i noticed was my automatic address position without the sleeve in place was slightly opener address so by practicing this drill so i'm going to do the same thing get into position and then just making sure my shoulders are uh, very much aligned to the sleeve everything to me is pretty much square all i've then got to do is execute the put which is pretty damn good so it works unfortunately we don't have the um, luxury of taking a sleeve of balls uh, to help with our alignment but by practicing that drill Alex suggests it's the only putter lesson we'll ever need. I'm not quite sure about that, but it certainly allows you to get fundamentals in place and you've got to have those things in situ before you can even consider hole in putts. Because if you don't, then you've got a lot of things that are working against you. Right, that's the first one back. I hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be a tip video every week from now on in. It'll be posted both here on the main channel and also the Testing the Tips channel is back up and live for those of you who just want to see that kind of content. So either way, support both channels, hit that like button, give me your feedback, go out and try it, and uh, maybe also let me know what you'd like to see in terms of tips. And I'll see you all very soon.